Hey, my name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a business and branding strategist. And I want to talk to you about being a gift. I work with a coach who tells people you are a gift. And every time I hear him say that, he's been saying this for years. So even pre-COVID, when there were conferences and meetings and events, he would grab the mic and open his talk with, you are a gift. And you would be able to look around the room and see people almost get uncomfortable with the thought that they're a gift. So in 2020, we have all been through so much. The idea that we are a gift when everything around us is a bit on shaky ground feels even more foreign. So I want to talk to you because I want to tell you fundamentally, foundationally in business, especially now, we have to believe and we have to come from this assumption, this place of certainty, foundational truth, that every single person we engage with is a gift, that they have a unique set of skills and strengths, a unique contribution to life, to work, to business, that is not just important, um, it is vital, it is critical, it is essential to our collective well-being. So being a gift is a space that you arrive at because you have a sense of ownership. And when, again, circumstances, whether they are positive circumstances or negative circumstances, when circumstances impact our life, oh, one of the very first things that gets shaken up a bit is our value proposition. We begin to question, particularly in negative situations, our confidence. We begin to question our role. We begin to think that perhaps we had it wrong. Perhaps you overestimated your abilities. Perhaps you didn't plan well enough. Perhaps you just did something that caused this particular thing to be extra challenging for you. Well, we know that circumstances are don't work that way. They impact and you can't possibly prepare for every single outcome. But what you can do is be very aware of your quality, of what unique contribution you have, the gift that you are. And one of the ways to tap into your gift and your understanding, your confidence of being a gift is to understand your strengths. Now, strengths are something you are gifted with. You have them. You didn't work for them. You didn't barter for them at some gift market. You didn't work extra hard for your strengths. These are qualities. Uh, Gallup Strength Finder is a wonderful space to start uh, when you are wanting to acquaint yourself with your strengths. When you want to tap into what makes you you, what is your unique contribution, what are your strengths? Now, why is it so important for me particularly to think about gifts and you specifically as a gift? Well, as a business coach and a strategist, as somebody who pays attention to brand, which is a brand is, is, is an expression of who you are, particularly if you are a solo entrepreneur and you're watching this. When you think of your brand, think of your brand being the expression of your value proposition, the expression of who you are in business. You, with your strengths, have an enormous amount, untapped amount of potential. And when you think of potential during times where you are feeling uncertain or perhaps not confident, in your potential, I want you to remember that potential is something that you grow. Potential is not something that you have, set it, forget it, walk away from it. Potential is a muscle of sorts. It's something you act upon. If you don't act on potential, it it just kind of dissipates. It goes away. There is no 
um, there's no feedback from it. There is no action you take and then evaluation you have on that action and results you see because you never took action in your potential. So you can have the most amount of potential and not cultivate it, not grow it, not develop it, and you'd have lost all of it. So your strengths, um, tapping into the understanding and the ownership of the fact that you are a gift, particularly in business, um, that you are somebody who brings unique contribution and value to every single situation, every encounter you have with every person. Tapping into that, into that is you tapping into your potential. Tapping into that potential and understanding your strengths builds your confidence to then take action. When you take action, you have something to evaluate. And when you evaluate, you're able to then adjust and move forward and get through the thing. And it's essentially a way of us getting ourselves unstuck. So tap into your strengths, tap into your uh, ownership of your unique contribution, take action on that and uh, see what comes up for you. Um, I promise you that as you're engaging this, as you're beginning to flex these muscles, you are going to experience something in yourself and around you that is going to feel like fresh, like something new. And that's really what we need, particularly right now. And we need you. We need all of us to be in our unique contribution because ultimately, I believe that this coach, Mr. Roger Savvy, is right. We are a gift. You are a gift. We just need to grow confident and comfortable in us tapping into our giftedness and our strength. Thank you so much for listening. Um, honestly, I needed to process this. And while, as, I, as I was doing that, I thought maybe this would be good for you too. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. I'd love to hear uh, what comes up for you. If you feel stuck in any kind of a way or you don't know exactly how to find and figure out your strengths, I'd be happy to support you with that as well. Um, and if I can't do it, I know some excellent strength finder coaches who are going to be able to support you in rocking your world and living new energized lives. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon.